my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very fun and exciting decorate with me slash Christmas decor house tour and I also have sprinkled in a few DIYs as well. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. But before we begin, please let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free so please Click that subscribe button. The YouTube algorithm is not that kind to us small YouTubers, so you clicking that subscribe button and that like button will help me out so much and it will truly make my Christmas. So if you would please do that for me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Alrighty guys, this video is going to be a long one, so grab a snack or some hot cocoa or eggnog, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first I had to create the Christmas atmosphere, so I decided to change out all of my candles from the fall candles to my Christmas ones. I even changed the candle holder for this one. This is the hot cocoa candle from Bath & Body Works. Smells delicious. And I even changed the one in our bedroom. This one is called After the Snow, which is literally exactly how I would imagine it smells like if it were to be a candle. I don't know how they do it, but it smells amazing. Then I didn't know where to begin, so I thought I would start with the wreath. I change it every single holiday. So here is my glorious Christmas wreath. I actually got it from Walmart years ago. Speaking of wreaths, let's just jump straight into the first DIY. And it is this little Mickey wreath. I saw one of my neighbors with a Mickey wreath and I was like, let me make that. And so I decided to DIY it. And I started off with these floral foams from the Dollar Tree, as you see here. And um, I just glued it into a Mickey shape using the hot glue. I used the floral ring, I think it is, and two sets of these little floral foam discs as the ear. And I just cut a little curve into it just so it can glue perfectly onto the ring and that formed the basic shape that we're going to start with. I originally wanted to do a peppermint style Mickey Mouse wreath that I've seen in the Disney store online but I had all of this extra green garland so I thought I would use that up. I wanted my wreath to light up so we decided to add a light source. This is my husband mapping out where to carve so that we can kind of create a little divot so that the little battery pack can slide right in. And then very carefully he used an X-Acto knife. I don't know why he did this on his lap. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I told him to do it on the table but he's a little daredevil. But please, please if you need like adult supervision, please use it because this is very very sharp an exacto knife and don't do it on your knee like how my husband is doing right here don't just, just don't just do it on the table and be safe but anyways we're just cutting the little shape out and then we go back in and <laughs> he actually ends up using one of my nail tools to kind of scrape out and hollow this little area out this battery operated fairy light is actually from Amazon. I actually hauled it in a previous haul. I will link that video down below. Um, I think it was actually my last video <laughs> that I hauled it. But as you see here, it's a perfect snug fit, but it is still pretty heavy. So we kind of had to figure out a way to keep it in place, which I will show you. But for now, it is my turn to hot glue the garland around the entire wreath and this took a lot longer than I expected it to. This literally took me all day, literally all day. I just, I couldn't believe how long it took, but I wanted everything to look pretty uniform and um, I did just didn't want to wrap everything just willy nilly. I wanted everything to look very neat. And I didn't add any garland on the back because that will be up against the wall and we needed a way to slip in the battery pack. So I did actually end up doing two layers of tinsel. I did one base layer, then I wrapped around this um, fairy light 
And yes, that's my husband in his Mickey Mouse pajamas helping me. And pro tip, if you're doing this, make sure to keep the lights on so that you can evenly distribute the lights and you can see like exactly where it's going to be shining with lights because a few times we had to undo this and redo it because one side had more lights than the other so we wanted to keep it pretty even. We did use some of these clothes pins to carefully um, pin the wiring down into the wreath and then I went back over it with one more layer of this green tinsel and there you have our color changing Mickey Christmas wreath. I decided to keep up this light curtain which I had for my fall decorate with me and um, that is also from Amazon and I cleared out all of the fall decor which of course always makes me a little sad but I was super excited because I look forward to Christmas every single year. I love Christmas so yeah this little curtain is all we had lit up right now at, at the moment but I did still have my Christmas candles to keep me in the spirit of Christmas and um, I was clearing out all the apothecary jars and everything which led to a glitter mess which I mean I don't mind but my husband hates. I always wait till the very end of decorating to vacuum because I know there's going to be a lot more glitter so um, for me Decorating um, is much easier for me when I lay out all of my decor so I can see everything in front of me and decide where I'm going to place things. So that is my little side table I had there originally, which we end up actually moving to create space for the Christmas tree. And I knew that the Mickey topiaries that I just got actually this year um, are going to go on either side to kind of frame the table. So I started off with that and worked my way from there. I also recently hauled this Mickey lamp post, which I recently got, um, and my husband is helping me put this together. Well, actually, he's putting it together. I'm supervising, I guess. <laughs> um, so this I was going to put in the corner, as you see here, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see that great in the camera. Well, I guess you can. It has like a little wave effect to the light and it's red and green and it's absolutely beautiful and just adds that perfect Disney touch as do the Mickey topiaries. So we did add just a few things to the wall with the light curtain. Um, I added two bows, one on either side, and right in the middle I put that Mickey wreath we just created. And I didn't want to drill any holes in the wall, so I just ended up hanging these ornament garlands from the top of the blinds. And it worked out perfectly. There were no holes drilled, so um, I didn't have to worry about that, but it still brought that Christmas magic that I was wanting and those just look so pretty especially at night with the lights shining up against them so gorgeous and I'm really pleased at how this turned out then I decided to move on to my table um, this is my dining table which nobody uses but that makes it even better to decorate because you can go as crazy as you want um, I started off with just a blank white tablecloth and I found my very, very old mini Christmas tree. This was like my little Christmas tree I had in my room in my parents' house. And I also took it with me to college. So this has been through a lot, but I knew I wanted to use it in my table setting. So I thought I would use that kind of like a centerpiece. But as you see here, it was kind of squashed, I guess. I did not store it very, very well, but you know, that's okay. Um, I decided to take off all of the ornaments and I spruced up the branches a little bit and it took me forever to get this old lighting out. It did not work, but I think this lighting is actually as old as I am, which is so crazy <laughs> to think about, but yep, uh, I finally got that out and threw it away, sadly, but 
onto the new lighting. So this is my little Christmas tree after I spread out the branches and now I'm going to add that same battery operated fairy light from Amazon that we used on our wreath. I did have some extra green tinsel left over so I decided to add that into the tree just to fill it up a little bit more because it was still looking a little sparse and I wanted to cover up the wiring of the lights. These fairy lights you will see I use it in two other places after that. I'm obsessed with them. They are color changing and it's battery operated so as you see here like you can't even see the battery pack because it's hidden under my little tree skirt. I decided that I would stick with my old little vintage ornaments because they're just very nostalgic and I thought they looked very cute, especially that little Santa Claus. He was always my favorite as a kid. So um, I just added a little bit of gold tinsel and as you see here, I'm just changing around the colors to see what I like best. And that is it for the main piece of my centerpiece. Then I went ahead and added these little circular placemats. They kind of look like big ornaments or lollipops or candy cane lollipops, you know? So I thought they looked perfect for my little Christmas table setting. And I had these little snowflakes lying around and I hadn't decided what to do with them yet so I'm just leaving it there. I do end up using them for the table as you will see soon. But let's move on to the chairs which I kind of made look like presents. I've seen this done on kitchen cabinets and stuff but I kind of wanted to create that but on my chairs because my chairs were looking pretty plain. So I just wrapped them with some of the uh, ribbon and then I added this decorative bow that I got from Dollar Tree to the center. And I'm just so pleased at how these turned out. They just look so gorgeous. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this peppermint style ribbon that you saw on the floor on the right side <laughs> or the regular red, but I went ahead with the red because I wanted to reuse these chairs for Valentine's Day. Then on the left side of the room, there's this little doorway and I just added some of this extra gold tinsel that I had and some extra little wreaths that I've had from a previous Christmas. And that Merry Christmas sign, I actually saw that they have it in Dollar Tree now, but I've had that since I was a little kid. So wow, if you want a similar sign, then I would check out Dollar Tree. And as you see there, I did add my favorite little fairy lights. And it's 16 feet long, so it was like absolutely perfect for that. And I can change the colors, as I've mentioned before, which I'm just very fascinated by, as you can tell, because I can't help myself. But um, yeah, I have the Merry Christmas sign just hanging. I, I tried not to drill any holes or anything like that so that is why I just kind of tucked everything behind like the windows and the little screws that you see there. So that completed that side but on the opposite side I actually ended up moving the side table that you saw in the beginning to that right side of the dining table and I was going to display my nutcrackers and I saw that one of my nutcrackers was broken. His little staff was missing. So I decided to replace this staff with a chopstick, but the chopstick was too thick. So I spent literally, I think it was like three hours or something, just sanding it down with my nail file. Um, I didn't have any like actual sandpaper on hand, so I had to rely on my little nail file. But eventually, after so much sanding, I finally got it to fit in my the little nutcracker's hand and the little top fit in perfectly and so I'm just showing you like how many nail files I went through to file it down. I went ahead and painted it with some gold paint to match my nutcracker and it turned out perfect. So here is my side table. I took off that blue runner that I had in the beginning and I just left it bare and I put these little toys, these little stuffed animals in my little sleigh and I filled my apothecary jars. Um, 
One has pine cones and ribbons, the other one has ornaments, and the littlest one, of course, has chocolate. Um, it has Lindor, and my favorite during this Christmas time is the peppermint bark. So, so good. I believe it's from Ghirardelli. So delicious. So, that is what I have in there. And then, as you see, my little nutcracker. He looks perfect with his two other brothers. <laughs> you would never think that his spear is actually a chopstick. And he is fiercely guarding my advent calendar. I recently hauled this. Um, it is from Target. And I also have my stockings hung on this since we don't have a fireplace. I wanted to hide the stocking hangers so I just put a little bit of tinsel and that's my husband's stocking and this is my stocking. And then underneath I have a little bouquet full, um, full of poinsettias. And they're fake poinsettias, of course, but it um, doesn't matter. They look beautiful. Going back to the advent calendar, um, I thought of first putting some treats or something, but then I decided on writing little poems for him, for my husband, counting down each day to Christmas. I wanted to add more lighting to my table, so I decided to add these little fake color-changing candles, but I decided to wrap them with this peppermint style ribbon to add a little bit of a festive flair. Behind the candles I actually put a vase, um, I put one on either side, and I filled it with some tinsel and some glittery branchy twigs that I got from Dollar Tree, and then I put a little bow there as well just for a little bit more brightness because it was looking a little dull without it. And then. Um, under the Christmas tree, I also added a little Santa Claus. <laughs> I ended up just adding the snowflakes around the tablecloth, as you see here. Um, and then I did put little gift bows at the corner of each end of the table. And then for the plates, I decided to add napkins and I actually folded them into a Christmas tree and I will show you how to do that right now. And then my kitchen was just looking so plain next to my dining table, which was getting like super glammed up. So I wanted to add some of these bows to my cabinets. And I originally started off by doing them on the door handles, but that was going to be super annoying to open up um, the cabinets. So I decided to use my green ribbon and take it like so to make it look like little presents as you've probably seen in the past it's pretty much exactly what i did to my dining room chairs but this time on the cabinets and just added the perfect amount of green and red and it looked so beautiful and festive so i did that for all of the cabinets except for the ones in the center which are way too high for me to reach so um i just added the bows on the doorknob like how I had planned originally because we never even opened those. I also decided to add this Christmas tree cookie jar next to my Christmas candle um, which is in my little coffee station. Then in our little half bath 
I just replaced the soap dispenser with this really beautiful Christmassy one and I replaced the hand towel with this gorgeous snowflake one and it matched perfectly with the soap dispenser and I did previously haul this as well. Again, I will link all those videos down below but just added just a little bit of Christmas into the half bath. I wasn't too keen on decorating the half bath too much but this just added the perfect amount of Christmas. Now in my living room I have this little flannel candle from White Barn and it wasn't really matching the rest of my decor so I decided to wrap it with some of this um, peacock ribbon that I got from Sam's. It matches the aesthetic of my peacock themed living room so I thought it was perfect. I just used a little bit of double stick tape. You can also use hot glue and it just brought the candle to a whole nother level. And here is my Christmas tree which has yet to be decorated at this point. Um, I actually wanted to film like a little transition, a cool transition for you guys. So I decided to do like the little grenade ornament throwing transition. But when I threw it, this little sucker actually ended up hooking itself onto the tree. Okay, so I have no idea where all of my footage went, but a lot of it is missing. So I guess I'm just going to have to show you guys with the lights dimmed. But we did end up adding just a little bit of lights around the windows in my husband's office. Um, it was just an extra light string that we had and we put it to good use. And then here we have our medium sized Christmas tree, our white Christmas tree. This one actually usually goes in either my beauty room or in our bedroom, but this year I just decided to decorate just one floor <laughs> so um, here I have like hot pink magenta and silver ornaments and the tree is actually pre-lit it's actually from Walmart and pretty much everything like all the decor is from Walmart for this tree and I'm sorry in advance if some of the clips look like they have like a little fishbowl effect. Um, some of the clips kind of look a little wonky because I was trying out a new camera, so that is why. Then I decided to keep up the floating candles, which I had up since Halloween time, and the floating keys. I just thought they added just an extra little magical touch, and uh, it just looks so gorgeous, and it lights up the room even more, so I definitely had to keep them. Right next to that is our TV and underneath that is our little TV console. So I decided to put the table runner on this console. It was originally on that side table from the beginning of the video, uh, but I thought it looked better here. And I added a candle, that's a real candle in the middle, and then four fake candles on the side. And then I put the real candle in this candle holder that I actually made. I actually have a tutorial on this on my channel. I will make sure to link that down below. But it's basically a dupe for a candle holder that I saw, I think it was like last year or the year before from Bath & Body Works. It's super easy to make. All of the things that I used to create this is actually from the dollar store. So if you're interested, I would make sure to check that out. But I just thought it added an extra bit of glam and glitter to my living room space and then as far as pillows go I pretty much kept it the same but I did bring out two glittery red pillows just just for a little bit of extra Christmas cheer so behind those pillows we have my heated red blanket and then here I have a Merry Christmas throw blanket it's very cozy very soft it's been so nice to cuddle up with this throw blanket and having the heated blanket behind us. Oh my gosh, it is so cozy and I really enjoy it. I feel like I'm going to continue to do this throughout the entire year because it's 
so comforting. And this heated blanket is actually from Costco, in case you guys are wondering. And right in the center of my coffee table, I have these two LED candles, and I have my regular vase with the peacock feathers I always have, but I also have my Bath & Body Works candle that we kind of elevated by putting the peacock feather ribbon on. Now we're going to walk to my second Christmas tree, which is um, our biggest Christmas tree. So there is my star, which I got from Walmart, and I pretty much added every ornament I can find. <laughs> and um, the tinsel that you see wrapped around is also the tinsel that I have bordering the room. You can kind of see it on the floor there. And this tree skirt actually is the exact copy of the little tree that I have on the dining table. The same tree skirt that I have for that mini tree. I had no idea, but it is the exact same, only bigger. And I have all red, green, and gold um, ornaments. I also have um, two different shades of green. I have light green and dark green. And the best thing I feel about my Christmas tree are the little extra ornaments that we've been collecting. Um, I've stated before that my husband and I have a little tradition where we get a new ornament, like a Disney or a Hallmark ornament each year. And we're hoping that in many years down the road, we'll have a Christmas tree full of these special ornaments and it shows you know, how many Christmases we celebrated together. Um, I have the years written on the bottom of all these ornaments. <laughs> these are our birthstone ornaments, and I have one for March, which is for me, and one for September, which is for my husband. And it's actually from Walmart, in case you're wondering. I do have those special Hallmark slash Disney ornaments spread throughout the tree, but I'm hoping down the line there'll be so many that I'll have to get its very own tree. There's a little close-up. Um, our tree did come pre-lit, so that was really helpful. It cut down on my decorating time, although it did take me a long time to decorate this tree um, because I did decide to use every single ornament that we had. Um, anyways, here's a little close-up of our little empty gift boxes there. I just wrapped them real quick with some matching gift wrap. I'm hoping to find some light-up gift boxes for next year. Um, you know, like the ones that they use for outdoor decorating. I kind of want to use those for inside, under my tree. <laughs> but that will be for next year. And here we have the border that I was saying. Um, we just put that same tinsel all around and it leads right into the back of the Christmas tree. So it all kind of looks a little connected. Moving on to my tiered tray. I literally just got this thing the day I filmed this video. So I just threw on everything that I had left over from decorating and I didn't have much. So I used anything that I could, like I have peppermint tea in the back and some red and more Christmassy looking mugs that I used and then I filled in the blank spaces with some Christmas bows and some Lindor chocolates and I did the best that I could. I didn't get to fully decorate my tiered tray as much as I wanted to but um, hopefully for Valentine's Day I will get to go all out and improve my tiered tray decorating skills. If you've seen my last couple of videos, then you know my new obsession with kitchen towels. So I couldn't decide which pair of kitchen towels to use, so I did use both of them. The one you just saw is Mr. and Mrs. Claus, which is right next to my little coffee station. And the coffee station, I just added a little Santa mug. I kept my Central Perk <laughs> um, coasters and everything because I mean, they were red and green, so I thought they matched pretty well. And I kept my little cookie jar that I mentioned earlier and put a little bouquet of poinsettias in the back with my hot cocoa um, candle from Bath & Body Works. And it needed a little bit more light, so I just put 
some of these little LED tea candles um, around the little Christmas tree. Um, those are from the Dollar Tree and it turned out pretty well if I do say so myself. And then for the stove, I hung my second pair of kitchen towels. These I think I got from Home Goods. I recently hauled it and they are so, so gorgeous. They have metallic writing and I am obsessed. Alrighty, my lovelies, it is the end of my house tour, my Christmas decor house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will include clips at the end of this video with a full overview of all of the decor, and I will have some wonderful copyright free Christmas music playing in the background for your enjoyment, of course. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from my family to yours.